Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dane back with another Every DC video. This time we're talking about Every DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Wonder Woman figure. So the first two Wonder Womans that we see was for the supposedly going to be released June 5th, 2020 Wonder Woman 84 fit, uh, movie. Of course, that was pushed back until Christmas Day 2020 instead, but the figure sat out there on the shelves forever because nobody knew what the movie was about. But there they are. You have the gold-winged armored Wonder Woman there, her base and her card. Gail, you can see her face sculpt there pretty good. There she is on her flight stand, back of the package. All different angles of her with her wings. You also had her in her red and gold and blue armor there with the lasso of truth. Figure stand and card as well. Front and side, back of the package. All the different angles of the figure with her lasso in hand. And there's the two figures from that wave, loose and in package. So here's your first image we saw with the figures compared to the other figures in the movie. So we are getting five members of the Justice League, like I said, minus Wonder Woman, but you're also getting a variant for Batman and a variant for Superman. So then the next Wonder Woman we have is, is the Merciless Builder figure itself. Of course, it is based off of Wonder Woman from a different Earth, Batman. There's that Build-A-Figure wave itself. Loose. And in package. So pretty cool with the same time that Todd showed off this Mohawk Wonder Woman. He also showed off a Dr. Fate helmet. <clears throat> so we'll see that helmet a little bit later. Here she is in package with those Bane Build-A-Figure arms. She comes with the sword, the base, the card, of course. Got that cape that she has, all tattered. Tattered, I should say. Back of the package. Front back side of the figure. There's that whole entire wave. Loose. And in package. So here we are with the Dark Knight's Death Metal Wonder Woman. Got that chainsaw. I would have loved to have actually seen her come with the guitar as well. That would have been awesome here in the comic right here. But here she is in package on the stand. With her weapon, she comes with the Build-A-Figure cape and head. Also the card that all these come with. Look at that shoulder pad. It's got that nice bone look to it. Both of them do. There she is from the side from the back of the package. So again, here is that way with the Dark Father and Builder figure for the Dark Knight's Death Metal. You got your Batman, your Robin King, and your Superman. There's all four plus the Builder figure, and all four in package. And then we have the Doctor Fate helmet I was talking about earlier. This is the Wonder Woman with the helmet of fate from the Last Night on Earth storyline. Here she is in action front back side up close here there she is with the stand the car and the sword also revealed around the same time as the armored batman from the batman of the dark knight returns you have the mcfarland designed wonder woman here Front back inside of the package. She comes with that sword, that shield, the figure stand, the card. I really like the shield. That's one of my favorite parts of this figure. <clears throat> there it 
is showing off a little closer. And front, back inside of that figure. And here's Todd himself showing off a box set for the last night on Earth. Bane. I don't know if you want to call this a mega scale since it's not a build a figure, of course, because it's already put together, but a whole box set with that entire wave all together. So it's kind of making it frustrating for some fans, just in my opinion, to not only give it to you in a wave to try to build Bane, but also give it to you in a big old box set like this. Just different ways to make people want to buy everything if you're a completionist. So there's the front and back of each one of the figures, which you've already seen before individually. Nothing different about them at all, except for the box they come in. All of them in action. Front of the box there. The box is amazing. I just wish this would have been the way that they were released in the first place. Back of the package. Here we are with a Walmart exclusive gold label McFarlane design figure of Wonder Woman. And then we got another McFarlane design. So Todd himself designed this particular gold label figure here of Wonder Woman. And this is a variant of it, the design that he had before. We'll show you a comparison here in a minute. But here you see her with her shield on her base there. All four angles. Now you see the card she comes with. She comes with a base, a shield, the sword, the lasso, and the figure itself. Pretty cool. And there she is holding the lasso in her hand. Not sure how well that would hold. If you notice that hand there is very loose gripping. So I'm not sure how they even actually took that picture of that lasso in her hand. And there she is with her sword as well. And then as you see, Todd McFarlane designed a little signature there at the top. Designed by Todd McFarlane written on the side for this Wonder Woman figure. You see the gold labels, label stamp on the front there. There's the pick package from the back as well. And here's your little comparison of, on the right, the original McFarlane design Wonder Woman figure with the sword and the shield only. And then on the left, you see the repaint of it with not only the sword and the shield, but she also has this lasso. So we got a little bit extra in this one with that extra lasso, and you do see that the paint itself does look a lot different. The knee pads are more bronze looking on this one. Instead of the blue paint on the legs, you see a gold paint. Instead of the red paint on the legs, um, yeah, I think that stayed the same, but they painted the blue lines, that silver color to match the uh, shield itself. Uh, the shield and the sword and the arm uh, armor there and the chest plate are all more bronze with this new one versus the original had the um, more of a gold instead of a bronze. Some red and silver up on the top before. So you can definitely see the same figure, but he has repainted it to you know give an even different McFarlane design to this particular figure so kind of a cool uh, alternate alteration here it's not just a head swap so that is really nice uh, compared to what usually McFarlane does with this stuff so uh, I like repaints they're so much better than just swapping out a head it makes more sense to buy this figure versus buying another figure just for a head swap so pretty cool McFarlane so here we are with another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Build-A-Figure Wave. This time we got the Frost King from Endless Winter. It takes four figures to build this Build-A-Figure, which is pretty awesome. That it only takes four $20, $24 figures to build a massive Build-A-Figure. With your John Stewart Green Lantern, your Batman, your Wonder Woman, and your Black Adam. So you can get out to stores like Big Bad Toy Store, Link in the description card above and get these pre-ordered if you want to. Get all four of these figures, like I said, and you'll get to build. You'll build a figure. Frost King there. She does come with a torso, has her own sword, figure stand, and her card. Has a sheath on her back as well, so that it can hold the sword. Got a big old ponytail, first time we've seen that before. Big helmet around her head. And a nice cloak there made out of fur. Her lasso on her side as well. 
And then her package again, showing Justice League Endless Winter. So all four figures from this wave are from that Justice League Endless Winter storyline. And then the Builder figure himself, of course, is too, with the Frost King. And here is that Frost King. You can see the translucent material in his horns and his uh, ice effects there on his shoulders and his wrist. Got a bear, I guess, there on his... Maybe a lion right there on his belt. And there he is from the side and the front and the back, showing him holding the sword. So here they all are loose. And here they all are in package. Yeah, Endless Winter, there's the comic book. Pretty cool looking wave here with Frost King there and all the rest. So great shots here. And up to this point here are all the Wonder Woman that were made at the time. So we got some more though. So here we go with a Target exclusive gold label version of the Endless Winter. So the Tierra changed up a lot. Got an axe, a shield, and a stand, and a card. I love that ponytail down the side. Really cool looking drape around her back there. Cape, whatever you want to call it. And then package. So here's your nice comparison between the two. The only difference is the weapons and the Tierra. Tiara, Tierra, whatever you want to call it on her head. And look at the boots, there's a little gold line on the new one that it wasn't on the first. And there's some silver above her uh, glove, it looks like there. We got a Anti-Crisis Wonder Woman gold label here in physical gold. It's an all gold figure with the same chainsaw card, base, so Dark Knight's Death Metal, all angles, and then package, target exclusive DC Multiverse build a figure, Crime Syndicate, builds the Starro, and this is the lowest lane of Earth 3, Superwoman. She comes with the little baby Starros as well, just like the other ones did. She's compared to Ultraman. Massive Starro figure there in her package, along with the baby. Really awesome figure. All angles. And there's that full target exclusive wave of the Crime Syndicate with their little Starros. Got a little Titans wave here with a Beast Boy Biddle figure, and you got your Donna Troy figure. is our younger version, or our protege of Wonder Woman. Got her sword, all the armor on there, all around angles there. Got the stars on the side. Comes with the arms, not the hands, of the Beast Boy. There's her card and her stand. And the package from all angles. Yeah, there's that full wave. You also have the Arsenal and Nightwing in that wave to build a build a figure. And there's that build a figure. And the full wave. So two females in this wave. Next we have the Shazam version of Wonder Woman, Fury of the Gods. So she did make a cameo in that movie. Got a lasso of truth, extended and on her waist. Gal Gadot might be the last time we see her. I think we saw another cameo in The Flash and maybe another one in Aquaman, but anyway, she does have a tiara that's loose as well. The card, the stand, and there she is in package. And all around. 
and in action. There she is with and without the tear on. So here's all of the Wonder Woman is loose so far. And here's what we have so far in package. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.